Hey everyone, uh, Dave here, and today I am going to do something on the smoker that's going to take about four hours. And I want to make some of my beef jerky. Now, I love beef jerky, and there's a place, I don't know if you've ever been there, but uh, Country Butcher and Tolland, they had the best um, jerky that I've ever had in my life. It just tasted so, mm, so good. But I think that they got a little big with themselves, and uh, last time I've been over there, it was something like almost $40 a pound, and uh, it was a lot cheaper meat, it seems, and the taste was off, and it was a lot tougher. So uh, I, had, I decided to go and make my own. So I don't know if any of you want jerky. I don't know if any of you like jerky. But if you do and you're here on this video, then uh, hang out because there was some top brown steak. I usually use flank. There was some top brown steak uh, on sale, like half price. And I'm going to use that to, to make up some uh, jerky. And while you're watching us on YouTube, just please click the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so that and the like button so that you can get any of the new videos that I post. So, with that said, uh, let's get to making jerky. Well, normally I use flank steak for my beef jerky, but today at Big Y, they had top round on sale. Now this is normally uh, $10.06. I got it for $4.63. This here is normally 1090. Got it for 502. And here one that's usually ten dollars and a uh, 1025, and I got it for 472. So these are I'm going to be using top round in order to uh, make the jerky and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in the freezer I want to slice them um, about uh, a quarter of an inch and in order to make that easier to slice I'm just going to pop them in the freezer for about uh, I don't know, a half hour or so and then I'm going to pull them out and I'll be easier to cut it's been a half hour um, one of the things I want to do is you got to make sure you cut most of the fat off as well because when making jerky, fat is not a, a good thing to have. So, I'm just going to kind of trim this edge here a little bit. Because fat is not good when you're making jerky. Now looking at the pieces that I want here, I'm probably going to go right in half right here. And I'm going to go along the side here. A little thicker than that. You want it about a quarter inch, and uh, I'm going to take all the steaks, and I'm going to cut them all to that thickness. And of course, I'm not going to bore you with having to hang out and watch this, but uh, let me cut this up, and then we're going to make the marinade that we're going to soak this in and overnight. Right, well, I've got my mixing bowl and uh, I've got some ketchup. So I'm going to get a cup of ketchup and it's good quality ketchup and I'm going to put that in there. And basically it's going to be about a cup of everything that I'm putting in here. So we're going to start off with the ketchup and get that in there pretty good. And next up, 
we're going to go with some soy sauce. You can try the low sodium. I didn't have any on hand, so I'm going to do a cup of that. So the following thing coming up from there is Worcestershire sauce. Again, we're going to do about a cup of that. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. It's all to your liking. If you like Worcestershire, you put more in and you absolutely can. But we have that together now. Uh, a cup of water, which is always good to have. And to that, we're also going to add a cup of olive oil. I'm using a, a high-end olive oil that I like. Um, it's extra virgin. And... Uh, I'm just really pleased with it. So, get that dumped in there. I believe now it's time for a little bit of um, garlic. So, got a cat going by. I think I've got eight of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cloves. And we're going to mince those up really quick. And once I've got them all minced up nicely, we'll drop them right in. So, want some green onion. Uh, I'm going to take one of the stalks that you can buy, uh, you know, the bunches you can buy at, at the store, and then you wash them off. And I'm going to go about, I'm going to use about half of that. So, once I've got all these in there, um, I'm going to add the sweet bourbon chef sauce. Um, I've, I was also going to add a shot of bourbon, but I, I forgot to do that. But, um, we're going to put just a little bit less than a cup in there. Uh, you can put a full cup if you want. I'm just going with a little bit less. And uh, we'll get all that mixed up. And that is it for the marinade. Um, this stuff is going to be off the chain good. You're not even going to believe it. So what I need now is a bag. I don't have any gallon Ziplocs, so I ended up using, sealing off one end of one of the um, uh, food processor or food saver bags. And I put all the meat in there. And to that, we're going to dump all of the marinade right up on top. Get that mixed up really good. Ziploc it. All right. Well, it's been 24 hours, and the... Uh, steak has been marinating. And that's where we're at. So what I need to do is take all of this out and it's going to be a um, uh, a messy job. So we're going to cover this all up with paper. I do have a rack that I'm going to lay these out on and then I'm going to carry the whole thing out. I've got the smoker going and uh, it's on low smoke and uh, we're going to uh, put it out there and set it for four hours and hopefully at the end of that we're going to have jerky this is the part I dislike the most I do have this bowl here and you can pour this in directly but I'm actually just going to set this bag down in here and I'm going to cut the top and this is a messy job. We're going to have to dig into the marinade, which I'm going to set off to the side here. And I'm going to take each strip and I'm just going to lay it across here. And I'm going to try to fit as much as I can. The bottom rack here, seeing everything's dripping, I'm going to try to lay the bottom one first. So, just to give you an idea, got a nice piece of steak here. Try to lay it in there. Longer pieces still. This takes a while and it actually is a uh, pain in the ass. One of the things that I thought about doing in the past and I have done in the past just kind of running it down through and then putting a stick in uh, I might try that too so 
we'll wait and see. I'm going to start putting all the meat out on the rack and when I finish we will come back and uh, we'll go out to the smoker. But this is going to be messy and it's going to take a long time. So, got to be patient. Alright, so I've got the rack filled and uh, let's bring it out to the smoker. I can't do that with the camera and by myself holding this I had to carry the camera so let me switch up the angle. It's been smoking for about two hours now, so why don't we go take a look? Well That is looking good. It's getting nice and firm. Wow. So I'm going to check it just about every hour now after this. Oh my goodness. And uh, I'll flip them all going to kind of toss them over. Wow. Tongs. It's been about 45 minutes, so I was going to check it after a half hour, but... goodness. You know what? I'm going to... Look at that. Oh, that is so good. It's not dried out. Got a little bit of zip to it. I'm going to pull it off. Wow. I would pay. I mean, look at that. Wow. I would pay 45, 50 bucks a pound for that. That is just awesome. Wow. Smokiness of that. Look at all that jerky. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to give this thing a shot. Well, it was a lot of work, and it took a long time, but check this out. Wow. Have a little bite to it. Tenderness. Oh. Mm. Smoky. Oh. I mean... It's so crazy good. Now when I buy this, I made a lot because the guys at work would kill me if I made some and didn't package it up and bring it in for them. But, wow. You ever get a smoker? Want to try this? It's killer. Hope you have a great day. Yeah.